Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise a higher. Everybody, praise a higher. One more time, praise a higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesai the Christ, Yesai the Messiah, Yesai of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God a higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is a name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was a change to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth. All over in the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ the Church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann, it is, it is in solid gray border with a tick in a white circle that is me anybody else pretending to be me that's a demon you need to rebuke and report them please watch the video to the end sometimes i do the sinner's prayer if not please check the description box or the pinned comment section for the sinner's prayer all right thank you for um um liking the videos thank you for sharing the videos thank you for watching the videos thank you for going in the comment section and communicating with brothers and sisters i really really appreciate it and for those of you beautiful beloveds who are, uh, are new to this channel and subscribe to the channel ahaya eternally bless you you are absolutely welcome i pray that you'll make this channel your prophetic home hallelujah all right hallelujah all right um, thank you for those of you who have blessed me through PayPal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Ahaya, I'm telling you, Ahaya, eternally bless you, brothers and sisters, for your beautiful love offering towards me. Thank you so very much. Also, brothers and sisters, I have a little um, project going on. It's a big ask. You know, it really is a big ask. It may take me a few years to reach to that um, um, project really and truly. Pending the second exodus, I have to always say that, pending the second exodus, but if you can bless me in any way, I would absolutely appreciate it. You know, <laughs> I always have to say this because people say, Sister Karen, you want this project doing and the second exodus is, at the, is around the corner. Well, at the end of the day, you still have to live. Ahaya is not stopping you from working. Is not stopping you from buying a house, having children, getting married, going vacation, getting that job you want, having families, friends, you know, enjoying yourself. He's not stopping you from doing that. It's how you do it. I still want us to be prosperous and he's still blessing in this dispensation. I don't know why people think that all of a sudden because we're living in chaos and destruction and this and a higher has just stop or halt the blessing. No. He still blesses in even in every situation. He still blesses it, right? So I know that the second exodus is at the door, but at the same time, you know, I still I'm still human being and I still got to live. So if you can help, I would appreciate it so very much. Like, really, really appreciate it if you can bless me that way. Please check the description box or the pinned comment section and you will see the reason why I'm asking for GoFundMe. You'll see the reason. It's, it's, it's there. All right. I would really appreciate it, brothers and sisters. Thank you. All right. We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty, yes, that's what he is, dirty, the dirty Antichrist. Daniel 7 verse 25 is truth. Satan through the Antichrist is going to change time, laws, and season. This world will become demonic. It will become lawless, a.k.a. the mark of the beast system is going to run. No Holy Spirit, no Ahia the Father, no Yesiah the Son. Everybody's going to be on their own. The only time you can make it into glory in that time, unless you go to the guillotine and refuse the mark of the beast, you don't want that. Yesiah says... Pray to be found worthy to escape these things. I believe he's talking about the woman in, sorry, the woman in Revelation 12. The woman in Revelation 12 flees into the wilderness and she's got the 12 stars. The 12 stars on the woman's head represents the 12 sons of Jacob. Hallelujah. The remnant of Jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery. And Ahaya is going to regather that remnant that's been scattered all over the earth in 2024, whenever the regathering, regathering is. That is why you see the woman 
running into the wilderness with the stars. The, so that's the Hebrew Yashahelites. The Ahai is going to regather from the Babylonian country, from the land of captivity. Ahai is going to do it. I know you may say, but John Agee, you know, amongst many others, Sister Kerry and John Agee says that, in 1948, God has regathered the nation of Israel and tell them to go back to their home, Israel. That God went into Europe and told the Europeans to do that. You, you know that's a lie, don't you? There's absolutely no way. All right, I used to believe it, but not anymore. But you know that that's a wicked, dirty lie. Because history has told us that the Europeans are from the Caucasus mountain. That is why they're called Caucasians. Go and Google it. I'm not being funny or, oh, no, 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 no. It's like black people, we're called, what we're called, um, thingy, some, something of the sun, we're called. Um, I forgot the name, but we have a name, daughter of the sun or uh, um, son of the, uh, I forgot, but we're called something of the sun because of our skin color, right? So when these wicked, dirty, nasty pastors are up there in the pulpit spitting out lies and telling you that Europeans are from the land of Israel and that Ahaya regather them and bring them back, it is not true. Because the origin of, you know, from the Caucasus mountain. So 1948 state, it's not them. And furthermore, they are called Jewish Ahaya is not Jewish. Yesaya is certainly not Jewish. He is Hebrew. He's a Hebrew Yeshahelite. And so therefore the remnant of the 12 sons of Jacob is going to regather. He's going to find every one of them and regather them. It's going to happen. I've got a full playlist on the second Exodus, by the way. So if you want to know more about it. But it is real and it's going to happen. So after the second Exodus, then the sixth seal opens up. That is beautiful Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory into our atmosphere. All eyes shall see him. And he's coming with his hands filled with rewards. Prophetic theme song called We Are Near. So some of my mommy taught me. And the song goes like this. How oh, now you are on oh, now you are on oh, now you are on oh, now oh, now you are on oh, now you are on oh, now you are on oh, now Hallelujah Yes we are near and we can sing that song with Right, confidence, confidence, and more confidence. All right, two ministries I've got one for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew Yashahelites. All right, um, I'm gonna put this in the end times, really, but um, th this is more of a spiritual video of something that I've picked up that I saw. I saw it on my Facebook. I saw it on my Facebook the other day, in February the other day. Um, and I picked it up in my spirit. And I'm going to talk about this woman called Wendy Williams. Wendy Williams. Those of you in Babylon, US, you know she's a, um, a well-known person over there. But I saw something the other day on my Facebook. Because the last time I saw good old Wendy, to be honest with you, to be fair, the last time um, somebody we were, somebody sent me, a, uh, when I was talking about the destruction or the falling of the, 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 the Statue of Liberty, all right? I was doing some videos on the Statue of Liberty, and somebody sent me a video with, of Wendy Williams. Um, she was doing her talk show and I think she dressed up like the Statue of Liberty, if I'm not mistaken. She dressed up like the Statue of Liberty and she fainted. That's the last time I saw her. I don't, I don't, I don't follow these people, to be fair. I don't follow them. I know of them, but I don't follow them. So because I was doing that video, you know, well, like Sister Karen, you see, you talk about the Statue of Liberty falling. Look at Wendy Williams dressing up like the Statue of Liberty. Oh, the Lord is speaking. And he certainly does. But I saw, I, I saw, mighty God of creation, oh, the mightiest fallen. I saw two clips on my Facebook. Somebody posted it, who I'm friends with. 
So the first post that I saw is a little clip of, um, she's called Black China. You know who she is, this rapper girl, converted Christian, yeah? Um, so I saw Black China were talking to her and I was shocked when I saw Wendy. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, she looks different. Yes, yeah, she does look sick, absolutely. But mighty God of creation, oh no. Um, so she was having a little talk with Black China and, you know, extreme, how much they love each other. So that was the first clip. And then the second clip I saw is a clip of, I think it's her son and her nephew or somebody like that. But um, they were, um, they went out for something to eat and stuff like that. And yeah, same thing, the look and stuff on her was absolutely shocking. So why am I doing this video? Why? Why am I talking about Wendy Williams? Brothers and sisters, I know when I read the caption and some of the comments and stuff like that, they're saying that, okay, so the reason why Wendy's like this, I want you to listen to me carefully. They're saying that the reason why Wendy Williams is in this state of illness is because um, she's got frontal dementia, which is caused by alcohol. So it's alcohol induced that causes her to have dementia. So she's has some form of memory problem that is going on, right? Okay. But it's not only the memory problem, because I was looking at her features and her, her, her eyes are, it's quite bulgy. Is this woman's eyes. Mm. She's vacant. When I mean, as I was looking at her, I'm thinking, who are you talking to? <laughs> uh, well, to Black China and the sons that were sitting there. And in my spirit, the question was raised, who are they talking to? Because to me, that's not Wendy Williams. So in the comment section, people are saying, oh, it's karma. That's what they were saying. Oh, it's karma because she's got a very heavy tongue. When it comes to people, you know, she really goes, when she was doing her talk shows, she goes really hard at them. She knocks them down. You know, her tongue was like a scissors. So they're saying it's karma that's catching up with her. So the question is this. Should the church pray for Wendy Williams? That's what came in my spirit. Should the church pray for Wendy Williams? I believe that what you're seeing manifesting concerning this woman. I don't believe it's nothing to do with alcohol. I don't believe that it's nothing. I'll, I'll come back to the alcohol stuff, right? But, I'll, but I'm going to get to the core of what I'm saying. I don't believe the cause of it is to do with alcohol-induced dementia and um, the bulging of the eyes and, you know, memory lost and stuff like that. As I was watching her brothers and sisters and I began to look and there, there's nothing there. I mean, you, you look in her eyes. I, I, I don't know who they're talking to, but it's not the Wendy Williams, right? Okay. And what the Lord began to reveal in my spirit that this illness that is upon Wendy Williams, it's... Um, it's an occultic illness. You might say, oh, Sister Karen, what, sorry, I'm just fixing my thing. You might say, Sister Karen, what do you mean an occultic illness? All right, it's okay. So those of you who understand, um, for the better word, uh, for the 
for instance, for the, you know, for the Caribbean people who are listening to me, in the Caribbean, we call it obia. Some people call it voodoo. Some people call it occultic. Some people call it witch doctor and stuff like that. It's basically, you know, like you see in these movies when they have these dollies, isn't it? They might call a name, the next door neighbor. And because they hate the next door neighbor, they, they buy this voodoo dolly and they put the pin in, pin there and this and that and all sorts of wicked thing, right? So what I am saying that um, through the occultic, through voodoo, through witchcraft, through obia, you can make a person ill. And that illness can mimic the natural illness that is bobbing about. So the person may not have high blood pressure. But because of the wicked um, occultic or the witchcraft that is spread on the person, it mimics blood pressure. But the person naturally don't have blood pressure. So that is what I'm saying to Wendy Williams. And that's why I asked the church. Should the church pray for Wendy Williams? Because what is manifest? what, what is manifesting what I saw? through the realm of the spirit is an, is, is, is an attack that is coming through the occultic, through witchcraft, through obia. So the powers that be, I don't know who has done it to her. I don't know. But when you have a sharp tongue like that, <laughs> understand what I'm saying. When you have a sharp tongue like Wendy, you will create enemies. And when you create enemies, if you do not have the protection of the most high, uh, higher, listen to me, those fiery dogs just come at you. Plain and simple. So I do believe that our sickness is not natural. I'm not saying that she might not, you know, drink alcohol and abuse it on one of you. But the, the current sickness that you are looking at now, it's a spiritual one. It is coming from witchcraft. That is what I picked up in my spirit as I saw those two clips. Mm. As I saw those two clips. So that's why I asked the question. Should the church pray for Wendy Williams? It's quite interesting really because I was thinking about her today because I knew I was going to do this video. And one of the things that came in my spirit because I know all wicked Babylon US or oh, the stay over there, you know, those who are in they occult it and the fallen angel and everybody. And it's very funny that they haven't cloned her. <laughs> they could have. But they haven't done it. Because it, it, it wouldn't fit the narrative. Because if they clone her, she's going to go, the clone, it's going to, it's going to be too risky. Because she's going to be on TV and she's going to shape shift. And people are going to know, oh, what's wrong with Wendy? So, so it, it, it's not worth it. You've got to know how these elites think when they're cloning people from the reptilian side of things. All right, they don't wanna, they don't wanna do that because um, too much, it's too risky. So I do believe that yes, that is the original Wendy that you're looking at. It is, it is. It's just that the illness that's come upon her through witchcraft has taken a toll on its on her body. But, but certainly our sickness is not natural. It's not, it's not natural. It's, 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 it's spiritual, really and truly. And it's, she's got enemies, unfortunately. But we just don't know who has done it. The might. I do believe that there's an X on her. So when somebody X you, it means that huh, they can ex you to suffer physically, mentally, spiritually, socially until you become unalive or until you are pronounced. So there's a there's an X on her life. But the thing is. <laughs> like, like I asked the church, should the church pray for Wendy? All right. So on the 29th of February, 2024, 
I was in prayer with the most I because I wake up sometime early, two o'clock, three o'clock, whenever time. And I, I spend that time and just pray to Aya. And I after I finished praying, I had a vision. And I saw Wendy Williams in a field. There were benches, like church benches in a field, right? And she sat down, she was by herself. And she sat by herself. And there were four guys. But these four guys that... I think... I, don't, I think these four guys are secular artists. But they were singing gospel music. Um, it's a gospel music that I've never heard before. But I know that um, they were saying something in the land of glory. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. But but in the vision they, they went up to Wendy. So it, it was like Wendy had done a song with them in the vision. She's made a gospel she made a gospel music with these guys. And because they knew she was ill, so they came to her um just for her to sing her bit, her gospel bit, and they sing their rest. And there were, you know, cameraman there and everybody and, and stuff like that. And she sang. She sang her bit. It was a gospel song. It was a beautiful song, to be fair. I, I wish I remembered it. But she sang a little bit. Uh, but I know that it's, it contains glory. Hallelujah. Um, but, like I said, in the vision, I knew she wasn't saved. Because I was watching everything. But I knew that Wendy was not a born again child of the most that I am. but I was excited for her that oh she's singing a gospel song to the most I and in the vision she meant it so that's why I came up with a with the with a question should the church pray for Wendy William I, I do believe that if she's got the capacity to acknowledge Christ if if she's got the capacity because you know she's got whatever she's got yeah induced dementia business they say um but if 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 she's got the capacity to reach out to the most high then I don't believe that she can be healed because it's it's witchcraft it's demonic somebody has put an X uh, somebody has put an X on Wendy William that's the reason why she is the way she is her sickness is not natural it's not natural demonic brothers and sisters i'm telling you i cannot lie i never lie i saw it when i when i watched that little clip with black china and another little one with her i think it's her son and her nephew i was just i wasn't even listening to what they were saying to be honest i was just looking at wendy and i i saw, I saw it in her eyes it's blank there's nothing there I, I don't even know who they're talking to to be fair but it's not the not the original Wendy but yeah so so I don't know should the church pray for her can you understand that's just my question I'm not saying that the Lord is saying that that is just me that is just me asking should the church pray for Wendy because you got to understand that the Bible says higher in Jeremiah Ahaya says that do not pray for these people because if you do, I will not answer you. I, I, I will not hear you. So you got to understand and know when to pray for people. You've got to get the authority from the power, hallelujah, from the power of the Holy Spirit to pray for them. So it's sad, real and truly, but I, you know, I can only pray before it's, it's too late and she's she can fight her way through that over there in Babylon, US, that somebody, a spiritual person, pastor, will pick up and see what's going on and she can get to a church and um, surrender to Christ because that's her holy hope. So you can pray for people and say, oh, heal, heal, Lord, and then they revert back to the wicked ways. So you want to make sure that when you pray, you pray that they get saved, that that's that salvation comes to them, that they renew their mind, they renew their hearts, they become like Christ. 
yeah because it's like i said it's very easy to pray for people oh god heal 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 bless 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 but what about their salvation but yes brothers and sisters i wanted to do this video to be honest with you because i thought to myself oh, i don't know this 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 one is deep witchcraft Somebody that's ex good old Wendy. Yeah, the ex. Her, her, her sickness is not, like I say, her sickness is not natural. It's not, it's not of a natural. Yes, you do have sicknesses that, that is alcohol dementia related. You do. But in the case of good old Wendy, this is a demonic one. It really is. It's a demonic one. All right. So, yes, brothers and sisters, so be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with higher, just like Enoch, have the mindset of Job, all praises, all beautiful praises to the most that higher, who lives above the heavens, higher eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory, in your size, holy name, amen and amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Messiah, our Savior, be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen and amen amen blessings amen